Hello guys, this is the video for wireless frames and their formats and their types. In this video, I am going to discuss about wireless frames. What are the different types of wireless frames available? What is the standard IEEE 802.11 MAC header present in all these wireless frames? How to distinguish between these wireless frames and also I will be giving some high level tips for capturing the wireless packets. I will be showing all these things with Wireshark wireless packets so that it will be easy for you to map this theory part with the practically seen wireless frames. Okay, let's go ahead. Now for capturing and parsing the wireless frames, you should have an operating system which will be able to capture the frames and for capturing the wireless frames, you should be able to make your wireless driver into monitor mode. Monitor mode is, is simple a promiscuous mode. You should be able to put your card in promiscuous mode. The simplest thing to go about it is grab a backtrack CD. The backtrack CD comes with default drivers support for Atheros and Prism based drivers as well as some Intel Centrino types are also supported. But you can go ahead with your own operating system and own wireless card. My choice of operating system is Backtrack. I generally use Wireshark as my network protocol analyzer. You can use T-Shark or Wild Packets or any other network protocol analyzer, analyzer that you have. And you will also need a wireless card to sniff the packet. I generally use a Atheros based card as Backtrack has all the drivers and also Atheros based cards gives me all possible freedom to do whatever thing I want to do on wireless media. Okay, so what all you need? You need, uh, you need a wireless card to put in promiscuous mode and you need a network protocol analyzer to capture the packets. Okay, now let's go ahead and see how these wireless packets will be seen on Wireshark. Okay, now this is one Wireshark screenshot here. Wireshark actually divides the screen into three parts. First part is the first part shows the packet details, the packet number, the time at which the packet was captured, the source address, destination address, the protocol which that packet contains, and some snippet of the information. Second part shows the protocol stack and third part which is not actually shown in this capture shows the actual hexadecimal equivalent of all these bytes. Now we are more interested in wireless packets and in this video we are going to discuss more about the MAC header of wireless packet. So let's see the contents of MAC header first and then we will actual and then we will open actual wireshark trace to see a demo for the mac contents okay now this is the standard wireless frame format let's go one by one first two bytes are the frame control bytes next comes the duration id Next comes the address 1, address 2 and address 3. I will be explaining what exactly the frame control, what exactly duration, what all these address for. For now just bear with me. So next comes the three addresses. Each address is a 6 byte address. These addresses are actual MAC addresses. Next comes the sequence control field. Then there is one more address, address 4. Now address 4 is an optional address. You will be able to see most of the frames with these three addresses. Next comes the frame body. So the default frame header will have frame control, duration ID, some addresses, sequence control and that's it. Now there are many 
now there are many varieties of ieee 802.11 protocol like there is a extension for security there is a extension for fast handshake there is a extension for quality of service there is a extension for throughput and every extension uses some or the other fields and adds some more fields into the standard but the current frame format is the default frame format specified by ieee 802.11 first protocol the additions also should support minimum this format okay now after this ieee 802.11 mac header the then comes the frame body and at the end of the frame body a crc checksum has to be present a 4 byte crc checksum has to be present 